Come on, put that down. You should dinner. It's getting cold. What is this crap? Bill was the first assistant, and Jerry was the editor. Robert Benton was the director and the writer. And this movie was interesting because there was a lot of improvisation. Dustin Hoffman was virtually directing the little boy who played his son. There was so much um, collaboration, and the actors were allowed to rewrite their lines. And, and that presents an interesting challenge and opportunity for an editor. Here, it's a regular hamburger. Just give it a little bite. It's delicious. Yeah. What's the matter? I think I'm going Roll up. I was watching Jerry cut it. He's going back and forth. And, and I was quite young at the time, didn't have any children. And I'm learning about how he's editing the scene. And uh, Billy comes in, he takes the uh, t lid off the ice cream, and he throws it on the table. And the take that Jerry was using at the, at the time didn't quite have a large enough sound. He didn't really hear that lid. And he, he especially did the lid uh, and, and, they cut, and left a pause so that the audience would react and, and the father could take in this moment of the boy being so defiant. You get back here right now. Did you hear me? You better not do that. You'd better stop right there, fella. I'm warning you. Hey! Did you hear me? Now, you listen to me. Don't be smart now. You go right back and put that back until you finish your dinner. And so one of my first editing things at all with Jerry was to go to the other takes and find the sound of this ice cream lid. And I said, OK, well, big deal. I wasn't really tuned into the dynamics of parents and children. And he said, believe me, this you get the lid, it's going to be a nice big sound, and it's going to have a huge laugh in the audience. So I went to other takes. I put it in. I made a nice sound with the, uh, with the ice cream lid. And sure enough, we went and previewed it wherever. We went to Boston, Dallas, uh, several different cities. And everywhere as we went, as soon as that lid hit the table and made that sound, the whole audience erupted in laughter. So I felt like I had, it was my first contribution to the, to the editing of a motion picture. I was very excited. I am not going to say it again. I am not going to say it again. I am not. Ow! 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 Don't you kick me. You're no bargaining, pal. You are a spoiled, rotten little brat. And I'll tell you right now, I'm mad. And I hate you back, you little shit. I want my money! Well, I'm all you've got. You made a comment, Jerry, about the use of music in the, the movie and how it it avoided the trap of being too cloying, too too obvious, too generic. I mean, you, you appreciated the music. Yes. Uh, well, uh, I mean, you learned that... Uh, uh, that the perfect use of music, and no doubt, music uh, you know, helps a lot. Its improper use is more on display, for my taste, than its proper use. And this was part of my philosophy, that, again, music should not tell you what to think. It should tell you what you might be able to feel after you're thinking of something. And that's very difficult. This is a pretty good example of that. Mm -hmm. 